What's good, everybody? It's your boy, Jobbers and News. And today we have a long anticipated battle swap. We have Deadpool and Deathstroke swapping battles. These two are often compared to each other for obvious reasons, given the similarities. And we're going to see who does better if they were to swap 10 battles each. If you guys are a fan of content like this and videos like this, run the likes up to 300 plus likes. The more likes, views, subscriptions I get, the more my channel grows and the bigger the chance I can go full time with this and we go absolutely crazy and take over YouTube. But until then, we run it up on the road to 30K. Also, make sure to join my Discord. We do games, prizes, D&Ds, giveaways, and more. It's a whole lot of fun, so make sure to join up. Now, here we are going to start off with Deadpool and run through the battles he has to undergo. Now, let's talk about Deadpool and his background slash what he's capable of. Deadpool coming into this will be... Um, Obviously, having his typical loadout, all his explosives, guns, as well as swords. Uh, on, in terms of skill, what he's capable of, he's historically gone toe-to-toe -to -toe with the likes of Wolverine. He's even gone toe-to-toe -to -toe with Captain America. Uh, trained with Taskmaster, trained with some of the best fighters in the Marvel Universe. And his unpredictability, multiple personalities, and craziness makes him very unpredictable in combat. Obviously, he has superhuman reflexes and abilities due to the experiments performed on him. On top of this, he has fourth wall breaking, story hopping, and a bunch of weird shit narratively he does throughout his stories that makes him kind of weird to deal with in certain instances. So if Deadpool was thrust into these 10 battles, how does he do? Let's get through them. So first battle we're gonna subject him to, fighting the Teen Titans. As you guys know, Deathstroke bullies the Teen Titans, always pulls up the, on them, always has shit to do with them. Would Deadpool fare well? Against some of them, yes. Deadpool has a weird enough arsenal, a crazy enough arsenal with his weapons explosives to keep a bunch of them off, especially Damien. Like, he's going to be definitely willing to fight characters like Damien's, other Robins, you know, in the skill department, he's fine. However, this battle ends whenever the fuck Raven decides to, he doesn't want that shit to go on anymore. Deadpool doesn't have a counter to her. He won't know about her. Um, I, I definitely foresee someone like Raven taking him down, but everybody else he's comfortable with. Of course, maybe he does some weird fourth wall breaking and then pulls a story like Deadpool kills the Marvel Universe, but in typical terms, ah, I, I see someone like Raven just folding him when she feels like it. Next, we have Deadshot, one of the most dangerous snipers slash marksmen to ever exist in DC. If he goes toe-to-toe -to -toe with Deadpool, how does this go? This is kind of rough for Deadshot. Deadshot, Floyd Lawton, is willing to kill a fantastic shot. Uh, Deadpool has dealt with these kind of snipers and marksmen before, dealt with Bullseye and stuff. But he didn't do great against Bullseye. Bullseye is also way fucking crazier than Deadshot, and those circumstances were different. In a straight-up fight, it's going to be a shootout and a skill contest. Deadshot does shitty against people that are willing to get hit or maybe take one or two shots to get up close and fuck them up. Deadpool's definitely down to do something like that, so I take I see him taking Deadshot mid to high death. Next, we have Cassandra Kane. Cassandra Kane put Batman in a teenage girl's body and make that bitch even crazier and that's cassandra kane plus she has some pretty cool technical skills and almost superhuman gifts that makes her incredibly dangerous uh gifts that get her compared often with Taskmaster. if kane was to fight deadpool how does that go there are some questions about if deadpool would kill a child but he's killed an entire universe before i don't know that part can get sticky it might be one of those things where he's not willing to kill her and then ends up getting beat up because she's fucking skilled but then again, if she's that skilled, maybe he will be uh, willing to hurt her. I'm not sure. Something about this battle says, unless we're promised Deadpool doesn't care that he's fighting a teenage girl, he'll probably turn up and kill her. Probably not going to happen. Probably loses because of that. But if he's willing to just put the paws on her, knock her out or whatever, or try to knock her out, it, it's hard to put her down without killing her. She's crazy. So I, I, because of that, I don't know if he's going to be willing to do that. Next, we have Batman. If Batman was to run into 
Deadpool, how does this go? I think this will go similar how it went against Moon Knight. Deadpool does pretty well when they initially clash. Even, you know, holding his own, forcing him back, whatnot. But as soon as Batman realizes this crackhead he's fighting can heal himself and pretty much survive any physical attack Batman's gonna throw at him, Batman's gonna hit him with the fucking kitchen sink, knock him out like Moon Knight did, tear him apart because he knows he'll heal, and take the win that way. I see Batman taking the long game mid to high difficulty. Now, the next battle is Beast Boy. This is a weird one. You see, at first you could appeal to the, oh, it's a kid. I don't know if he'll go as hard against a kid. Well, Beast Boy kind of looks like a fucking alien, acts like an alien, turns into a bunch of different beasts and monsters. I don't think Dead, uh, Deadpool would be very reserved in a fight with a being like that, even if it comes across as a child. Honestly, these are two characters that would hang out with each other and probably like the vibes each give off. However, I think Deadpool would be fine here. There's no monster or beast that Beast Boy is going to turn in he hasn't seen before or encountered. So that's not hard for him to take down with his explosives and other weapons. I actually see this being an easier fight for Deadpool than someone like Batman due to the nature of the powers and how they fight. Next, we have Nightwing. Dick Grayson, Nightwing. Heathless, Deathstroke, obviously, led to OG Titans. How would Deadpool do against the acrobatic fake Batman? Well, this is a weird one. Nightwing, yes, he is somewhat relative in skill to Batwing, uh, Batman. Um, super athletic, he's quick as shit. Very intelligent. It's, it's a tough matchup. However, he doesn't have the stopping power to call upon that Batman has, right? Like, he can't go into his utility belt and pull out some shit that'll put down a Kryptonian. He doesn't typically carry the same amount of firepower as Batman does or as much stopping force. So, I don't think he's as equipped to deal with someone like Deadpool in terms of how they fight and how they operate as compared to someone like Batman. Now, if he had the bat, regular bat suit, like this is Dick Grayson when he had Batman's loadout literally mimicking him. Fair chance, fair chance. High difficulty, fair chance. But if it's just Nightwing, I actually don't favor it. Next, we have New 52 Lobo. Now, here's the thing with New 52 Lobo. He was absolute fucking trash. Please do not mistake New 52 Lobo for any other Lobo. That run was garbage. That stroke literally was fine. Like, brawling with Lobo managed to hold him off, went toe-to-toe -to -toe with him at certain points. I don't trust New 52 Lobo for shit. He should beat Deadpool, but I would not be fucking surprised. if that. Matter of fact, no, nah, I'm switching. Fuck that. Fuck you, New 52 Lobo. By the way, if you guys don't know, Lobo is one of my favorite characters to ever exist, and when they ruined him in New 52, it pissed me the fuck off. Fuck you, New 52 Lobo. Deadpool's going to talk about how trash you are. You're not nearly as good of a read as the other Lobo. And then he would kill you. He would do some disrespectful shit like that. 100% think that would happen now. I'm going with that. Deadpool kills him with narrative hacks. Now what? Gag on gag violence. Deadpool wins because this version of Lobo fucking sucks. Next, we have New 52 Superman. As you guys recall, Deadpool or Deathstroke did have a couple missions that brought him in the path of Superman, including robbing a ship. Superman wasn't going for that shit. How does Deadpool do in his place? Deadpool would probably crack a lot of jokes, do a lot of things to try to hold off uh, Superman, but Deadpool doesn't fight like Deathstroke. Deathstroke would tactically lay this out and use certain weapons to try to hold off Superman, not necessarily try to beat him, try to do certain shit to keep him away. It's a different mentality and approach. Where Deadpool will fucking swing and bang if it calls for it. I mean, that man was getting beat up by Fat Kroger and said, Hey, I ain't no bitch. Like, Deadpool's kind of hood when it comes to shit like that. So I think his approach would be different than Deathstroke in this situation. Not that I'm saying he had a way to just cook New 52 Superman, but I am saying it's a better fight for Deathstroke with how he tactically goes about things. I see Deadpool losing that matchup. Next, we have Green Arrow and Black Canary. Uh, this is a tricky one. Black Canary quite capable with her screen being able to take down most street tiers in DC or at least really hurt them. Green Arrow being one of the greatest marksmen to ever exist in DC. 
renowned for his work as an archer. However, Green Arrow is not nearly as capable as someone like a Batman. Batman doesn't even fucking carry contingency plans for Green Arrow. He's like, if he goes bad, I'll just beat his ass. That's it. So when you look at it from that perspective, it's not nearly the same threat level as a Batman. However, both of them fighting at the same time, that can be dangerous. I see Deadpool making fucking jokes about Green Arrow not having any prep plans made for him, how no one takes him serious. Probably would really bother Green Arrow, and I do think he would beat Green Arrow. On top of this, Black Canary's power, um, once Deadpool, even if he gets hit by it, he can take it. I'm not saying it'd feel amazing, but he can take it. And he would know that he could manipulate the battlefield to like basically keep Arrow in the way of that voice being used on him because if air is right there it can't be used on him too so i actually see deadpool taking this one mid to high death now finally we have bronze tiger now before you guys say anything old school bronze tiger was a fucking problem like when he pulled up on deathstroke that was a legit fight they went back and forth he was rocking deathstroke deathstroke was rocking him Bronze Tiger knows how to close the angles, especially back then, and really make it hand-to-hand. -hand. He's fucking saucy. He would beat up Deadpool initially. That's a tough fight for Deadpool. It would low-key start off like Fat Cobra, but he is not Fat Cobra in terms of Bronze Tiger. His lack of real weapons or real ways to put down Deadpool, he'd pay for it. I see Deadpool bouncing back mid-fight and clutching it, but it would come high difficulty, and he would get his ass beat in the beginning of the fight. Now that we got Deadpool's battle gauntlet out the way, let's move on to Deathstroke. Now, in terms of what Deathstroke brings to the table, Slade Wilson's a former highly decorated super soldier from the military, works spec ops now. He's one of the greatest mercenaries to ever live. The serum obviously boosted his capabilities, gave him superhero prop, uh, superhuman properties, including a Decent regen factor. On top of this, his senses have been honed perfectly. Master combat. Uh, he will be bringing in armor that I'm not giving him like god armor or anything, but he can reflect bullets and attacks from superhuman beings. On top of this, uh, he has swords, guns, explosives, and other means of high end murder. Now, what are his battles? First off, we have Moon Knight. So, in this instance, this is a weird one. Moon Knight is a character who kind of stalemated Deadpool on the first exchange and then beat him when he realized he could just beat the fuck out of Deadpool. Moon Knight wouldn't have a lot of respect for Deathstroke as Deathstroke... When I say respect, I mean, like, his life. Deathstroke clearly is someone capable of killing and will kill. Um, I see him trying pretty damn hard to put down Deathstroke. I think it's a tough-ass battle. I have Deathstroke winning mid to high diff. Um, I do see him taking down Moon Knight. Obviously, if this is Moon Knight with access to Khonshu during like a super moon, it's, it's tough. But we're assuming it's regular Moon Knight. He probably loses high diff to Deathstroke. Next, we have Wolverine. Wolverine, one of the best hunters to ever live, the greatest to ever do it. Member of the X-Men, Avengers, pretty much every team in Marvel because they can't stop throwing them in fucking comics. What would happen if Wolverine scrapped with Destro? This is another battle that's heavily contested. While I do think Destro does have some edges, for example, I do think overall, tactically, he probably is a little smarter. On top of this, a uh, better arsenal. Wolverine's toughness, healing factors, skills himself, and the fact that he would focus in a battle with someone like Deathstroke, he takes characters of high skill level in a high degree like this very serious, and he would act accordingly. He did so with Craven recently. I think he would do the same to Deathstroke, and I see his claws eventually wearing down Deathstroke, and he wins high difficulty. Next, we have Thanos. Thanos is someone I see getting absolutely mauled by... Just fucking kidding. Uh, obviously... Not the best matchup for Deathstroke, especially if he doesn't have anything like God Armor or anything like that. On top of this, Thanos is a Deadpool op because Deadpool's trying to fuck his girl. It's not the same dynamic with Deathstroke. I don't have any real win cons for Deathstroke in this category. I actually think Thanos just washes him. So that would actually be a pretty bad fight for him. I'm sorry, it is what it is. Next, we have Sabretooth. Now, this is... 
an interesting one because Sabretooth is essentially like Wolverine. You know, he's got some of the same properties. On top of this, he's a lot more savage. He's a little more stronger, and he has better physical traits because he doesn't have a whole bunch of adamantium weighing him down. He's also better at killing than Wolverine is. This would be a fun battle. There is a chance this might be a little easier for Deathstroke, um, given Wolverine will fight a little more measured and tactical and take him apart that way, whereas Sabretooth, Swang and Bang Instinct. Um, I see Sabretooth still winning it, but uh, Deathstroke probably does better than he did against Wolverine. And I can understand arguments if you say he wins. The modern Sabretooth definitely slams. Now next, we have Carnage. Carnage, Cletus Cassidy, former serial killer, uh, real badass himself. Takes the symbiote to an extreme level, stronger than Spider-Man and Venom. Usually they have to 2v1 him. Uh, has tanked the apocalypse, the bomb, has gone toe-to-toe -to -toe with Kid Nova. He's done a whole bunch of wild shit. If Carnage was to run down on Deathstroke, I don't feel like Deathstroke would take advantage of the Carnage issues slash weaknesses or perceived weaknesses in a good amount of time to beat him. I think Carnage would rush him, start ripping into him, picking him apart. I mean, Deathstroke's on defense immediately, and I don't see him getting away from Carnage. I have Carnage taking it probably mid-death. Next, we have Fat Cobra. Fat Cobra was one of Deadpool's funniest fights because Fat Cobra just showed up to his house and beat the shit out of him. He is from one of the heavenly cities beyond time itself. Um, here, he ate so much, he took all the supplies from the Infinite Garden. On top of this, he's fought Fing Fang Foom. He's fought against Merge Sentry. He's fought against Layers of Hell. Fat Cobra, though, beast. If Deathstroke runs into him, it'd be cool at first, but Fat Cobra has too many both spirit-based attacks and regular attacks. He's a better fighter than Deathstroke. He has Deathstroke in all the physical categories. Deathstroke would get taken down probably low to mid-death by Fat Cobra. Next, we have Bullseye. This is a battle that would just be super fun to watch. Bullseye is a character that not only can go toe-to-toe -to -toe with the likes of Daredevil and other characters of that tier, his aim and marksmanship is pretty much second to none. He can kill you with a paper straw, he can break your nose with a paper airplane, he can pretty much angle anything to be lethal, it's insane. Bullseye definitely has the aim, loadout, and toughness and craziness to make this a weird one for Deathstroke. Deathstroke actually somewhat had a little trouble with Deadshot in a drawn out battle because Deadshot had the aim and marksmanship to just make it really fucking annoying for Deathstroke. Bullseye could do the same, however, in the long game, I do have faith Deathstroke could pull it out. I have Deathstroke taking it here mid to high dip, but Bullseye, again, would make it fun. Cable, that's the next one. Cable, longtime friend of Deadpool, also enemies sometimes, they fight all the time. They fought before. How would it go if Cable fought Deathstroke? Well, Cable isn't just some super soldier. He also has telekinetic hacks. Uh, he can manipulate other things as well. He would be super broken if he wasn't constantly holding back the techno virus installed in him that's supposed to kill him. But even with that, he also can potentially use a technique called slide one, slide two, so on, so forth, where he basically gets to time travel and use prep. I don't see Deathstroke beating Cable. I just don't. Um, Cable brings too much to the table, too many hacks. Chris is good at what Deathstroke does. Uh, in terms of the other things, I have Cable beating him. Probably low to mid down. Next, we have Typhoid Mary. This bitch is crazy. And when it comes to Deadpool, she's probably most famous for assaulting him. And not in the physical way. If you're picking up what I'm putting down, that man was crying in the fucking showers. Now, Typhoid, on top of being a dangerous fighter and a skilled merc she's also has kind of weird hacks would they be super effective against deathstroke not too convinced i think when deathstroke runs into typhoid mary the way she acts the way she is the way she presents herself 100 percent crazy bitch like you gotta kill her you almost have no no other fucking excuse to get out of it like she you, you see her you're like i probably should shoot that bitch 
I think Deathstroke would feel the same way and it would affect the battle. He's going to have no problems getting this bitch up out of here. And I see him taking down Typhoid Mary probably um, mid-death. Low to mid-death. Finally, we have Black Panther. Black Panther and Deadpool actually had their own um, storyline where they fought several times. How would it play out? This was a dead or a Black Panther that was actually using some even more souped up of a suit. It would be a really tough fight. I actually see this one completely going uh, either way. Both are just as skilled as one another. Super soldiers in their own right. right. I do have Black Panther having a superior suit unless Slade was allowed like his god armor. Probably lean Black Panther, but I can understand the argument both ways but regardless when these two run through the battle gauntlets who do i think did better well i'd probably go with deadpool i think he does better in the battle swaps however there's something we need to highlight deadpool doesn't win a lot of the fucking battles he's in in marvel a lot of the fights he's in he doesn't actually win he's doing stupid shit and beefing with stupid people and that's that's his stick that's his thing so in fairness to deathstroke he got put up against a lot of people Deadpool's not beaten up either. So, <laughs> so it is what it is. But anyways, guys, let me know what you think in the comment section down below. Do you agree, disagree? Let me know what you think, as well as let me know who else needs to be on the Battle Swap series. Anyways, guys, it's been your boy Jobbers and Goons. Make sure to like, subscribe, comment, all that, and I'll see you all later. Peace.